uh, chatting then about the JSW group. And uh, like father, like son, Sajan Jindal has never stayed away from making big bets. And his son, Park Jindal, completes almost four years with the JSW group. CNBC TV team caught up with the heir apparent of the JSW group. In his first ever television interview, Part spoke about the challenge behind modernizing the U.S. business while rubbishing rumors of any kind of shutdown. Our very own Kritika Saxena caught up with him and began by asking him the roadmap for the turnaround of the U.S. business. In order to turn it around, we need to pump in a significant amount of capital in CapEx. Additional. To, yeah, hmm. to modernize the, the plant. The board has taken the view that JSW Steel, uh, the money that you, we would spend in the U.S. would be better spent in India. What I have done since I took over in 2012 was we changed the management uh, completely. We've got a new CEO in place uh, who was the CEO of AK Steel before John Ritz. He's got a completely new management, whether it's the chief operating officer, whether it's the technical officers. Everyone is a completely new team. And we're trying to upgrade the facility to what it was built in the 60s to do. So we've achieved that, but if we want to actually turn it around, if we actually want to start competing with the likes of US Steel and Nucor, we would actually have to spend significant amounts of capital to modernize. Okay. So right now, as we speak, we're talking to private equity firms, we're talking to strategics in the US uh, to either do a management buyout, to buy out the complete asset, or to take a significant stake in the asset so that they can pump in capital with that capital, they'll get an equity stake in the U.S. business. How much CAPEX is required right now? Roughly $150 million. This is a four-phase process. So initially, we would need about $40 million, um, and then that would grow to about $80 million in two years. With that $80 million, this plant would start generating internal accruals. And then, in That's order why. to completely modernize, we needed further $70 million. By when then, or how long would it take for it to become profitable? So. It's a two-year process. Uh, once we place the order for the new equipment and once we modernize it, uh, it'll take two years to actually modernize the facility. Once we modernize the facility, our cost, our conversion cost, which is, the, which is today quite high, will drastically reduce. Today, our conversion cost, um, you know, if it's X, uh, with this modernization, it would drop by 40%. That 40% is where we would make the margin. We have over eight, nine different parties who are showing interest. Some are interested in a complete buyout. Others are interested only if JSW continues with a minority or a majority stake. So, you know, whichever offer we get, and, uh, you know, I'm, I've been in, associated with this plant for so long. Yeah. So my dream is to see it turn around. Shutdown is not an option. Shutdown is not an option. No, it, there's no need to shut down because we're anywhere able to break even or do slightly better right now. And that's only because of the new management. All right, then there's some uh, big statements coming in from